Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues. With this video, I want to talk about the OVA that was just released in the last couple of days as of the time of this recording for Hitsugi no Chaika. Uh, a friend of mine over on Facebook, Blues Jazz, actually sent me the link giving me the heads up. And uh, I had to go kind of like digging for a copy that I could actually watch on my mobile device. And, um, you know, it's really interesting. It was really fun to like, you know, revisit these characters that I loved in the series that I had a lot of interest in and covered both full seasons episodically in reviews and such like that. And uh, but you can see watching this OVA, uh, you know, I, I read something about it being unreleased episodes or something like that. You can see where this was actually probably something they had in production. And then for, you know, sort of the better outcome, the better choice was to not release these as actually legit episodes. Um, the first interesting thing happens with the OP. It features the title Avenging Battle of the second season. And you could kind of see where this might loosely fall early in the second season, maybe, arguably. Um, but basically what you have is a full-length episode that's broken up into two halves, uh, you know, sort of short special episodes, you could say, arguably, that you might have found on a, you know, DVD or, or like, bonus episodes. And, but as you're watching it, I mean, so much of it is taking place, like, in the whole second half, there's, like, large chunks of it that are underground in, like, caves and uh, ruins and stuff, and it's not very vibrantly lit, it's very dark, it's kind of hard to make out what's going on. Same thing with the first episode, it's uh, more so in, like, the back halls of a theater where a play is going on and everything like that and you really you know when compared to uh, where the scenes are very lit up especially during daylight it's kind of hard to make out what's going on with these sequences so for that alone it's kind of easy to see how they might have been reluctant to release this as you know legit episode but then you get into the story and <laughs> there's not much story to it it's a lot of hilarity ensuing I mean uh, we basically begin with Toru and Chaika the White uh, you know basically taking a run into an open door of this theater to find a place to hide as Gillette and his crew are right on their coattails and uh, they pretty much figured out where they went and, you know, they're trying to hide in this theater. <laughs> Toto ends up walking into uh, the women's dressing room and he has to get, you know, all decked out in drag to try to leave as uh, I think it's Vivi and Zita have followed him in there without actually knowing he was in there at first. Um, and then he makes his way out and Chaika, the white, inadvertently was put into this coffin that's part of the play. It's all about the, uh, you know, destroying and defeating Arthur Gaz, her father. She wants to see the play, but they have to stay in hiding, and Toto kind of schools her on that. And you have her inadvertently brought out on stage inside this coffin because part of the play is apparently putting the body of Arthur Gaz into it and burying the evil that he represents. And, you know, you basically... <laughs> while you have like uh, Akari and uh, Frederica they're you know just catching up with Toru and there's a lot of funny dialogue about finding him in drag and how it's his uh, you know secret obsession and all the stuff he explains the situation then they have to go out on stage when the coffin has been brought out on stage with Chaika in it and like pretend there's a whole different ending to the play to try to you know save her you got Gillette's people in the crowd they're running up on stage. The audience thinks, you know, this is all part of the show. And then you have, uh, you know, basically the showdown between uh, the magics, if you will. You know, magic is shot at Chaika and crew. Chaika shoots magic back. And then Frederica, who decided to just leave halfway through the episode, shows up in the nick of time, you know, like the cavalry over the hill as her dragon form busting through the back wall of the place. Flames are going all over the place, uh, you know, from the explosions. And she just barely gets them out of there in the nick of time. And so it's hilarious. It's absolutely balls to the wall fun and, and a fun time, you know, frolicking to watch. And uh, when you get into the second half, it's kind of like they're still, you know, Gillette's faction still on their coattails. And they get some rumors going around about there being remains from Arthur Gaz in these tombs. Uh, so they, of course, decide to go check the tombs out. And you have Gillette's faction, again, right on their coattails. And you have the teams split because these ruins are so, like, faulty and falling apart. The ground literally gives way from under them when Chaika takes a wrong step. And you have, like, uh, Red Chaika and her trio, uh, you know, well, it's Red Chaika, David, and Selma. They show up on the scene. <laughs> you have White Chaika split off from Toru. You have Underground, even though it's so dark and you can't really make it out. 
you can just barely uh, see the sequence that's going on where Toru ends up, you know, holding Red Chaika's hand, thinking it's his Chaika, and then she gets ticked off, and she's talking about she's going to save herself. White Chaika's dangling from a vine next to Gillette, who's also dangling from a vine, and he's like, well, I'm going to arrest you as soon as we uh, get out of this predicament, but first of all, let's get out of this predicament. Grab my hand and all this stuff. And Toru's like, don't listen to him. Akari comes running from outside. One of Gillette's faction actually saw her bathing. You know, I mean, uh, luckily they edited it so that you couldn't see any anatomy and stuff. You know, the hair was kind of over her chest and whatever like that. But he finds her clothes and then she beats the living hell out of him, the snot out of him. And this happens again later when, again, they've had to get rid of their clothes because of the mud down inside the caverns of this tomb. They're leaving tracks, and uh, Vivian Zeta and this guy, you know, they're pretty much still on their heels uh, every step of the way, and then they decide to discard all the muddy clothes, Red Chaika as well, who is keeping right in step with Chaika the White and Akari, respectively. And it just goes nuts because, of course, uh, Akari backs you know, round again to get this guy for the second time who's found her clothes. And, uh, you know, in this case, half naked. She's got, like, undies on. And you have both of the Chaikas, white and red, respectively. Red Chaika's kind of wearing, like, a swimsuit one-piece kind of situation, whereas Chaika the White is literally in, like, lacy underalls and stuff. And they're trying to get to the tomb amidst all of this havoc to get the, their hands on these remains. And it turns out Vivi and Zeta have beaten them effectively to the punch, and there's a reveal toward the end once they finally do escape and go their separate ways where these remains aren't exactly what everybody thought they were going to be. And I won't spoil that for you here in case you haven't seen the OVA. But by the end, you know, it's kind of the same punchline as the first half of this OVA, where the theater is left to, you know, basically go up in flames and explosions. And Toto's like, who cares? Same thing with the ruins. They, they've blown up the ruins, and he's just like, who cares? Chaika feels bad about it, but he could care less. And so onward, the story would effectively flow. I don't know exactly where this fits into the overall, you know, first and second season of Hitsuki no Chaika, but it was fun, it was a blast to watch, and uh, even though all the while, it's like, I can understand why this wasn't released as legit episodes within that framework. I don't understand exactly why it wasn't put onto DVDs, and it had to be, uh, from what I've read, it was released with like a, a manga or a novel release, something along those lines. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but... It was fun times. I love Hitsugi no Chaika. Chaika is adorable. Shocking truth. And um, just fun times. And uh, I would highly recommend you check it out if you're a fan of the series. There's nothing really spoilery if uh, you're not familiar with the story of the series proper. It's, you know, just something that fits into the middle very loosely of uh, that whole people chasing Chaika, Toru and Akari, and them, uh, you know, seeking these particular Arthur Gaz remains. And there's nothing, as I say, that really spoils the story at all. So, yeah, otherwise, let me know in the comments below if you've seen it or if you're going to check it out, what you thought of it by the end. And, uh, yeah, that'll be pretty much it for me on this. Hope this video finds you well, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.